Well, Larry Anglesano from Aviation Consumer Magazine here at AirVenture 2014 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Now, Bendix King comes to the show with a new AeroView integrated avionics suite. Now, this suite trickles down from the EPIC system found in transport category and business jets. Now, the target market here for the AeroView is uh, light jets and turboprops. For more on the system, here's Bendix King's Kevin O'Hara. This is the uh, Bendix King by Honeywell AeroView integrated flight deck for the King Air. Basically, the turbine retrofit marketplace. The system consists of three displays, uh, two primary flight displays, and a multifunction display. Okay, on the uh, primary flight display, we have synthetic vision. We also have our ground procs and our weather radar on, on this area over here. Uh, we have uh, our engine parameters are here. Radio panel is here. Over here is, is our multifunction display. We get, we, we decided to have the, the biggest map possible. That's why we put the engine instruments and the radios over here on this side. So here we have our uh, large uh, multifunction display moving map. As you can see, we have uh, our, our flight plan. We have uh, weather along the way. And here's our vertical, uh, a vertical scale. Or it's a vertical uh, display of our flight plan. Honeywell's advanced avionics system is based on a cursor control device. Uh, ranging from uh, the uh, advanced business jets all the way down to this retrofit program and for the uh, King Air 200. As you can see, it's, uh, it's simply you have a roller ball here and moves the, the, uh, the, the cursor around uh, w within the three displays. And you have buttons over here to push the, to bring the cursor over to the pages. It's easy to use. We can just uh, bring up our FM, our flight management window anytime we want. Here's our phases of flight. Obviously, it's on the ground climb and descent. It's very easy to uh, point at a, a waypoint along the route. You simply push the button and here's the, the, the menu of what you can do along for that waypoint. You could go, you could send it the map, you can go direct, you can intercept a different radial, you can amend the route after that waypoint. You can delete the waypoint, you can have it crossing such as a uh, altitude crossing. You can also to uh, have a hold. It's easy to put in a hold. All you got to do is uh, put the uh, radial and uh, the uh, legs information on there, hit apply, and you're done. Activate. It's in the flight plan. The system includes a uh, new FMS with a dual FMS and also dual GPS. The system also too is a complete uh, update of the uh, uh, gyro systems. We have we have dual Adahar systems, and we move all the uh, old uh, iron gyros from from the uh, airplane. The system is a is ADSB compliant for the uh, 20, uh, 2020 uh, mandate, as well as we have uh, as you can see for weather avoidance, we have XM weather as well as onboard weather radar, and in addition, the uh, AeroWave uh, internet uh, connectivity. Uh, uh, system is, is also included in the uh, AeroView system. It's a retrofit program designed uh, to bring the technologies that Honeywell has from the higher end uh, airplanes like the, the Gulf Streams, the Falcons, and, and down into the uh, turboprop retro retrofit marketplace. We're going to start out with the King Air 200 and also to the B200 and then follow on with other, other models. The system that will be uh, certified and available for uh, uh, purchase by the uh, first half of 2015. Initial pricing is based on about uh, $250,000 flyaway price. The system will be available the first uh, half of uh, 2015 and for more information contact BendixKing.com or your local dealer for more additional information. Now you can read about the AeroView in a future issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglesano. Thanks for watching.